starter. We're going to take our asparagus. Just place them in a bowl. And these will shrink a lot when you cook them too. So it looks like it's a lot, but trust me, this will go really quick. Okay, so we got them in our bowl. Now to that, we are going to add our chopped onion. Probably about, let's go with this. Maybe a good quarter of a large sweet onion. This happens to be a Vidalia onion, which I like the sweet onions. I just think they're way more flavorful. I'm gonna chop up some nice sweet Vidalia onion or just some regular sweet onion. Nice, nice thin slivers of onion. Because they're gonna really, really marinate and cook in the asparagus. So there you go. So we're gonna take our onion and add them to the bowl. Okay, there you go. Okay, so with that, we're gonna mix that up a little bit. We're gonna take our pink Himalayan salt. And I like to just, I don't usually measure, I will be measuring and putting it in the recipe, but I would like if you would try it and then use your seasoning to your taste. So if you really like salty food, you might wanna add a lot more salt. If you're trying to omit salt, obviously don't use as much salt. Uh, we're gonna take the garlic and once again, um, I'll measure, but it looks eyeballing probably at least a tablespoon of the garlic powder. Okay, I like it nice and garlicky. So with that, we're gonna add at least um, two tablespoons of the olive oil. Okay, you can just coat them real nicely with the olive oil. You don't wanna drench them, but you definitely need a little bit of olive oil. Tons work much better. So we're gonna take it and we're gonna just mix them up. Oop, one got away. And mix these asparagus up with all these delicious flavors. And of course, fresh ground black pepper. You wanna add to it. If you love black pepper, you wanna add a lot. If you're not a big fan like me, you can omit it or you can just add it to your taste. Okay, all right, there you go. Now, we're gonna take our baby carrots and I'm gonna add, you know, I guess maybe about, this is a, how many ounces are in here? This is a 16 ounce bag, so I'm gonna say maybe half the bag. So we'll do like eight ounces of baby carrots or shredded carrots if you have shredded carrots. Um, again, just to give a little color, a little more, a little more flavor, a little bit more, um, I'm gonna add a little more garlic and a little more nutrition. All right, I'm gonna mix that up again. If you have any mushrooms handy, you can also throw some mushrooms in here. That's real good too. You can play around with this recipe. But for today, we're gonna use onions, asparagus, and uh, carrots. Okay, and then we're gonna take our, uh, our blanched almonds and we're gonna add a good Oh, let's say, start out with a half a cup, half a cup oops, of the almonds. And I'm just going to put them around. These are so good once they roast. All right, we're going to mix that up again. Okay. And our oven is going to be 350. We don't want to go too high because we don't want these asparagus to burn. But we're going to do 350 once we get it on our parchment paper. So let me go set that right now. So that will start. There you go. Okay. And that's pretty much it. Towards the end is when we put our cheese. So for now, we're just going to put it in the way it is. So we're going to take it and gonna place it on our baking sheet. And we 
get a spatula. You want to make sure you get out all that deliciousness. So let's get our spatula and make sure we get it all into the asparagus. I'm just gonna make sure we spread it out on our baking sheet. Make sure that it's evenly distributed. Okay, with the onions and the carrots. And it's all looking really, really, really good. Okay. So we got that pretty evenly distributed onto our baking sheet. So it should look something like that. Okay, then we're going to take everything and we're going to put it in our oven and we're going to roast it at 350 for, we're going to check it in about 20 minutes and then we'll see how much more it may need to go. Probably stir it around a little bit and then maybe another 15 to 20. Let's put that in the oven. Okay, so that's roasting in the oven. I'll be taking that to my daughters tonight because they love my asparagus. And uh, yeah, so can't wait till that's done. Um, and I'll check back with you after 20 minutes in the oven. But it's been probably more like almost 30 minutes take it out. We're going to just toss them around a little bit. By the way, when you use this recipe, make sure you use the really tiny baby carrots because they are not going to roast at the same um, quickness as the asparagus. So they're pretty hard still. Um, but they were the little baby carrots. Really teeny tiny. Um, we're going to move things around a little bit here and we're going to place everything back in the oven for maybe another 20 to 30 minutes. And then I'll be back. Roast the thumb for about another 20 minutes. And at the very end, at this point, I am going to add a little bit of the Daya shredded mozzarella cheese. And then I'm going to put it back in the oven for maybe five minutes, just enough time to like melt it. So I'm going to take a good maybe half a cup, a couple of handfuls of shredded diet cheese. Okay, there you go. Let me show you what that looks like. There you go, see? So I got the cheese on it. It's going to go back in the oven for about another five minutes. After that, I'm going to plate it and uh, taste it. It's going to be delish. Okay, took it out of the oven and we're all done. Looks great. I'm just going to plate it and taste it. There we go. Looking mighty loud, mighty delicious. Okay. I've been in my kitchen all day. The sun's starting to set, so the lady's getting a little... Okay, there you have it. Yummy! Okay, so we give it a taste. We get some of the asparagus, some of the almond. Oh my God. Oh my God, so good. A little bit of the carrot. Mmm, perfectly roasted, so delicious, really want you to try it, let me know what you think. Hi, so that's it for today, that was my roasted asparagus with sliced almonds, and absolutely delish, and um, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, if you try the recipe, I would love to know how you like it. And I would also love to know um, some of your family members or friends that don't like vegetables and how they liked it, like my family does. 
and I uh, hope to see you in the next go around. So please thumbs up, subscribe to that channel. I would really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next go around. Just be safe, be healthy, and I'll see you soon. Bye.